the Nigerian Labour Congress, NRC, and Trade Union Congress, TUC, have declared a nationwide strike beginning from Monday, June 3rd, 2024, over the Tripartite Committee in ability to agree on a new minimum wage and a hike in electricity tariff. The president of the TUC, Festo Osifo, announced a strike at a joint news conference with the leadership of the NRC in Abuja on Friday. According to the Labour leaders, the decision followed the expiration of an earlier request to the federal government to conclude all negotiations for a new minimum wage before the end of May. The organized Labour once pulled out of the negotiation and rejected the two federal government offers. The latest being 60,000 Naira, they are insisting on 497,000 Naira minimum wage. Since the removal of fresh subsidy, the floating of the Naira, the cost of living in Nigeria has reached the new high, heightening calls for a new minimum wage. In the wake up of the development, labor leaders have relayed out several measures, including a new minimum wage, alternatives, modes of transportation, and others to cushion the impact of the subsidy removal. We are hereby declaring the commencement of a nationwide industrial action, a nationwide strike, effective from Monday, June 3rd, 2024. And this strike shall be indefinite. And this strike shall be on until we have a new national minimum wage, until government is serious and also the tariff increment in electricity is reversed. We are united on this. We believe that this is the way forward. We believe this is the time, as we have done over the years, to consistently stand with the working class of uh, Nigeria because they have been battered and they have been uh, downtrodden the way it has been from May 29th till date. So comrades, uh, comrade, gentlemen of the press, that is actually our stand on this. So by on Tuesday, on Tuesday this week. So in that particular conversation, they offered the sum of 60,000 Naira that we vehemently rejected. When we left that meeting, we informed them that we don't want to attend any other meeting without commitment from government. And any other meeting they want to call us for, there must be clear-cut commitment of which they agreed. They invited us for a meeting again today. We deliberated on it. And we felt, okay, as patriotic Nigerians, that we should attend that meeting, thinking that they have the necessary commitments. We went to the meeting again today. To our surprise, there was really no representation from government. There was no substantive ministers in that meeting. They all had representatives without mandates, apart from the Minister of uh, State for Labor that is actually the conciliator. There was no representation from the federal government. There was no representation from the state government. So technically, they abandoned the meeting so getting to the meeting, there was nobody to offer anything. So they still remain adamant on the 60,000 Naira. So we're now wondering, why did they invite us for the meeting? Now we attended this meeting as patriots, as people that love Nigeria and love Nigerians as well. But government on its own refused to do anything much more. Even a cover was not added to the 60,000 Naira that they proposed on Tuesday that we rightfully rejected. And gentlemen, you remember very well that, uh, uh, gentlemen of the press, you remember very well that we issued an ultimatum 1st of May 2024 during the May Day rally on two items. Number one, the electricity uh, tariff hike as well as uh, the uh, minimum wage. For the electricity tariff hike, you remember clearly that on the 13th of May, we had a protest to NEROC and to some of the discos. 
registering our, our displeasure. You know that up till today, there is no word from the government. Even the minister of uh, power never did it fit to even invite us for us to sit down and have that conversation. Because our, because our demand was that there should be a reversal from uh, 20, uh, 225 naira per kilowatt down to where it was before, 66 naira per kilowatt. So, uh, gentlemen of the press, we are calling on government to be much more responsive to the plight of the Nigerian workers. We are calling on them that the hardship that we are currently facing is as a result of the policies that we have brought about by this government that we felt we are not well thought out. And also, what has fed into this that we all know uh, it's quite obvious, the removal of fuel subsidy, the flotation of Naira, and the increment of electricity uh, price hike. So, uh, gentlemen of the press, if you could remember, we had a meeting, a National Executive Council meeting of the NLC as well as the TUC, uh, where we were further charged that the leadership uh, should take charge and uh, will take all actions to call government to order at the end of the expiration of the ultimatum. Today is 31st of May, 20. 24, and this night, the ultimatum expires. So, uh, gentlemen of the press, um, we are hereby declaring the commencement of a nationwide industrial action, a nationwide strike, effective from Monday, June 3rd, 2024. And this strike shall be indefinite. And this strike shall be on until we have a new national minimum wage, until government is serious, and also the tariff increment in electricity is reversed. We are united on this. We believe that this is the way forward. We believe this is the time, as we have done over the years, to consistently stand with the working class of um, Nigeria, because they have been battered and they have been uh, downtrodden the way it has been from May 29th till date. So comrades, uh, comrade, gentlemen of the press, that is actually our stand on this. So by midnight on Monday, June 3rd, we shall embark on a nationwide... Sunday midnight. Sorry, Sunday midnight. Sunday midnight... Uh, uh, Sunday midnight, we shall embark on a nationwide strike. Uh, effective Sunday midnight, uh, June 2nd, 2024. I think that's Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you.